Hey everyone, welcome back to Small Batch Devs. My name is Austin. And I'm Elliot. Today we're talking about the Prime UI component library and some of the pros and cons of using it. If you enjoyed this episode and you learn a thing or two, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. But without any further ado, let's jump into it. So what is Prime? So Prime is a UI component library, as we mentioned in the intro, that gives you a bunch of pre-built components and functionality for uh, things like dropdowns, tables, toast messages, dialogues, and more. So Prime has libraries for each of the most popular frameworks, including Angular, Vue, and React. These libraries are called PrimeNG, PrimeView, and PrimeReact, respectively. I think you can figure that out. So why would we want to use a component library like Prime? So since we can use all this functionality that comes with Prime, um, we save a lot of time and energy um, as developers since we're not having to rebuild or recreate the wheel that Prime has already provided us. So to get specific, PrimeNG, the Angular Framework component library, has over 80 pre-built components. Prime React for the React framework has over 70 pre-built components, and Prime View for the Vue.js framework has over 60 pre-built components. So Prime has a great looking and cohesive style which goes across all of its components, so your user has a great user experience um, and the UI looks good. Prime also has all of its components mobile friendly and responsive, so they're ready to look great on mobile devices as well. Prime is consistently maintained and improved, and it stays up to date with the framework that it's built around. And each Prime library has great documentation with multiple demos for each component. It also supplies many different style themes that you can choose from, uh, but if you don't like any of the styles that they provide for free, uh, you can also pay some money to get some different styles. The Prime libraries also support the importing best practices, so you're only loading the components that you're using in your application. It also provides accessibility features that are compliant with Section 508. It's TypeScript friendly and it's also open source. Nice. So we've already told you how great Prime already is, but there's also a dark side to using the Prime libraries. Let's go over some of the cons. So the first con that we're going to go over is a con that's pretty close to my heart, um, and that's that you can't do a lot of styling customization with Prime. Um, so if you really want to change your colors and maybe some padding, just the nitty gritty details of these components, um, you can't really do so without like kind of hacking the code a bit. And one important distinction is that if you do pay for Prime, it's very easy to change the styling because they give you the CSS variables, but it can be quite expensive. And another con, of course, is it looks very CSS frameworky, kind of like Bootstrap, um, which isn't really cool and hip anymore, um, so you might not want to go that route. It's kind of easy to spot. Yeah. So today we quickly covered some of the pros and cons of Prime's UI component library for JavaScript frameworks. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and also maybe check out our Small Batch Devs blog, which is at smallbatchdevs.com. We convert these YouTube videos into a text format, more or less, and a blog format, if you will. Um, and also check us out on social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, at Small Batch Devs. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace. So what is Prime? Well, Prime is... Nope. <laughs> That's my bad. I went straight into that too. I should have let you go. <laughs> you would end oh, up. Man. So why would we use Prime? Well, you would want to use Prime because it's exactly what it is. It's a huge component library. <laughs> <laughs> You want to use Prime because it's exactly what it is? I know. I couldn't think of a better way to say that. <laughs> <laughs> You'd want to use Prime because it's Prime, duh.